Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into another tool organization video and today we're going to be going over the top three plier organizers. Now there's a lot of, well, there's a few options out there but only a couple of good ones and a DIY option is definitely available. So I'm going to be going over my top three, sharing the prices and information and thoughts on those as well as showing you what I use to organize my pliers and how I have it set up and I really hope you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section whether you made one uh, from home DIY or which one you purchased. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. We're going to be going into the first one which is like i stated a diy option now this all depends on your skill level if you think you can make something nice or something that works for you that's definitely an option uh, it can save you money but really plier organizers are probably one of the most affordable organizers that you can purchase it's not like your socket organizers or wrench organizers where those can get pretty expensive because you tend to have a lot more of those than you do pliers um, so there are plenty of options out there, whether you make it out of wood or whatnot, but a lot of people actually use the rubberized wire um, from dishwasher organizers for dish drying. Uh, they'll cut those up and kind of manipulate those into the shape that they want, and it works really well. You could also use uh, the rubberized wire shelving that you would find in closets or pantries or anything like that. And I'll throw up a picture of the dish organizer um, that would be cut up and you could lay your pliers across there and it helps them stand up because when pliers lay down in a drawer, like most everything else, they tend to take up a lot more space. So standing them up on their side saves a lot of space and uh, they're easily uh, identifiable when you open up the drawer. So you could do it this route. Now the pros is it's usually pretty affordable. You can get a cheap one of those for five to 15 bucks just depending on whether you go to walmart or dollar general or wherever you find it uh, very affordable but like i stated plier organizers are already very affordable compared to everything else so this is one option if you're trying to save a little bit of money and you think you can make it work for your needs but really the number two that i'm going to state now is roughly the same price and uh, looks cleaner so you can do a diy option number two you can do this option this is brought by Ernst. There's a few other companies out there that build ones very similar to it. Gear Wrench has one and, and a lot of others. So it's basically a plastic base and it has slots that the, or plastic basically walls that separate the pliers. Now with the wire one, like I said, you try and make it work for your needs, but also keep in mind that the spaces are usually the same all the way across. And then same with these plastic ones, but I will also post up a picture of the one sold at Harbor Freight, and I believe there are a couple others that make it just like this. Um, those little plastic walls are actually adjustable. So whether you have a lot of slim pliers or you have a lot with uh, comfort grip, which tend to be thicker, uh, or a mix of both, you can adjust those so that it holds the pliers really nicely. So that's also another affordable option. I think I saw one of them holds around 10 pliers and it's around $12 or somewhere around in there. Uh, now the con being with the Harbor Freight one, I'm not sure how strong those walls are, especially if they're adjustable. I haven't personally messed with that one, uh, but the ones that are stationary seem to be pretty sturdy. Uh, plus when I'm grabbing pliers and putting them away, you know, it's not like it's a real rough job. So I wouldn't be too afraid of, uh, damaging the organizer or anything like that. So really, when it comes to those, it's your preference of color. Gear Wrench has an orange and black one. A lot of other companies have a red and black one, but they're all basically the exact same thing, except for the Harbor Freight one, which is black and red with the adjustable walls. I'm just not sure how strong those walls are. And then my number one, which is very affordable, like I said, all of them are around 10 to $20, depending on how long of one you get. It is a pre-bent wire organizer and it's rubberized as well. It's basically like a very nice version of your dishwasher organizer or your dish drying organizer. And what's nice is for like the first half of it, it's all slim design. And then the last half for the last third of it, 
the spacing starts to get a little bit wider in order for your comfort grips or your locking pliers or anything like that where it might have a heavy or a bigger or thicker handle to it or uh, anything like that so those are my three options that i really like and the thing i like about the wire one as well unlike the plastic one you can actually cut this one to fit the length of your drawer and you could put one at the back of your drawer and at the front if you did have to cut it so you have pliers going both directions and uh, i actually picked one up that holds 32 sets of pliers and i have about 20 more sets of pliers so i actually need to get one more rack now that i've acquired more pliers so i'm going to show you my drawer and how i have it set up and then in the future we'll be doing a video of organizing my pliers again once i get another one so i really hope you guys enjoyed let me know your guys thoughts on which organizer you enjoy and which one you decided to go with or if you're still looking consider these three options all right, so that is my pliers drawer. You can see the wire rack here. It's got a little rail that runs across all the way and uh, kind of holds the pliers right in there very nicely. As you can tell, I have mine separated. These are kind of six and ones and stuff. And then my lineman pliers, diagonal side cutters, standard uh, slip joint pliers, long nose pliers, end nippers, adjustable wrenches. Um, some long needle nose pliers, some long duck bills, diagonal side cutters, some hose clamp pliers or hose pliers, and then my tongue and groove pliers and locking pliers down here at the end. And it holds them all very nicely. But as you can tell, the other half of my drawer, I have accumulated more pliers and it's getting out of control and unorganized. So I definitely need to get another one. And like I said, you can actually cut these to length to fit your drawer better. And I did that when I first got this organizer, I had this half on this side and that half on that side because I had another full organizer of pliers over here, but I ended up getting rid of it. And now I'm just going to get a whole nother one of these, which I believe ran me around $15 and it holds 32 uh, pairs of pliers. I'm just going to lay it across the front and organize these pliers that I have laying around. If you guys haven't seen my pliers videos, go ahead and check those out. I also recently released a lot of videos on this Fujia brand. It is a Japanese brand and they make some amazing pliers. So go ahead and check those out. But other than that, that is it for my plier organizer. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. It means a lot and I'll see you guys in the next one.